Hi and welcome to another Mountainscape quick edit video. This time I want to work on this shot of the Dürrensee, which was also captured during my last Dolomites trip. Sadly there isn't much colorful stuff going on, but I think I can apply some cool editing on this image as well. So first here are the before and after images. As you can see this time I'm using Lightroom again, so let's activate the lens correction settings first. Then I also want to change the profile to Adobe Landscape, at least for now since this will boost the darker areas and give me some saturation here. Uh, I'm not touching the white balance because I think the colors look good right now, but I want to decrease the exposure right away just to make it look more dramatic. And to balance the exposure even further, I'm dropping the highlights and I'm also increasing the shadows. And since this image starts to look a little bit flat now, I'm also adding some contrast. And then let's also add some texture and some clarity. Actually, I think I don't want to add clarity right away and I want to save it for the local adjustments. So let's for now just drop the vibrance a bit. And then I want to go on with the local adjustments. As you can see, I have created two gradiated filters. One is for the foreground and one is for the sky part. Let's work on the upper one first. Basically, I want to softly darken the sky a bit, so I'm just dropping the exposure again. Okay, and then let's go on with the filter for the foreground. Now, this is the area where I want to have a lot of clarity to bring out a lot of the details in here. So let's just add some clarity. And I can also add some texture again. Let's drag this one up a little bit. Okay, and I might also want to increase the whites. All right, and let's go on with the radial filters. Now this big one serves as some kind of fake vignetting. And to create that, I'm just dropping the whites. Then I have another radial filter for the sky. With this one I want to brighten up the area, so this time I'm increasing the whites. And then you can see those two radial filters really close together. And I want to use them to create some fake fog in there. And all I need to do for that is to just decrease the dehaze. And you can see what's happening in that particular area. It's getting a little bit brighter, a little bit more saturated. Now to work on this fake fog look, I'm also dropping the contrast. And then I'm using the second radial filter, which is a little bit smaller, to further add some dehaze there. This way we have created some nice fake fog. Then let's do some more color grading. First, I want to gently reduce the blue color saturation since for me it's too much in this image. But I also want to apply a cold color tone to the darker areas just to give this image a certain mood. And let's even increase the saturation here. Okay, then let's also sharpen the image real quick. And Finally, let's add some subtle vignetting. Okay, now that's it for the raw adjustments in Lightroom. Now I want to open the image in Photoshop and finish the editing. And first, of course, I want to get rid of this rather distracting object, which is shining through the trees there. And here I'm just using the spot healing brush, which should fix that quite easily. And of course we need to fix the reflection for which I want to use the clone stem tool. Let's see what's on this side here. Oh, 
Okay, good. Then next, let me apply some local glow by creating a new layer and switching the blending mode to hard light. Then I'm grabbing the brush tool, set the opacity of the brush to around 10% and then I'm grabbing a bright color with a slight blue color cast. Okay. And then I'm painting in a few glowy spots. Okay, I think this extra added glow doesn't work for this image, so I'm just erasing this layer for now. But I want to go on with some Nick Collection effects. And first off, to bring back some contrast into this image, I'm going to use the Pro Contrast filter. And here I just add some dynamic contrast. Okay. And then let's check the Nick Collection one more time. And this time I'm using the classical soft focus just to give the image some kind of soft look. And here I'm going with the first diffusion method. Okay. Usually I would mask out certain parts of the glow effect, but for this image I quite like the look of it. So that is it for editing this mountainscape image. I hope this was helpful and interesting. If you have questions regarding the editing or any suggestions for other videos, please let me know in the comments. And thank you very much for watching this video.